it's fun to be playing a game where I feel fairly safe just leaving it running for a bit. Even though I guess there was a possibility one of my dupes just died, but none died this time, so that's good. S -s Sneaky chair was spying on you, that's right. Uh, need one more painting so it's symmetric with the sculptures below. Uh, oh, well, the problem with that is I don't have fiber for it. Well, I didn't. Maybe I do now. No, I can't. I don't have another one. <laughs> I'd have to destroy that one and move it there or something. Because the Draco needs to be sheared. I only have one Draco, so I'm not getting a ton of fiber. Okay. Did we fix all that water? Okay, I think we did. Pie charts. Yummy. Your favorite is apple pie chart. <laughs> you like banana chocolate pie chart. I don't like pie. I don't like sand. It's rough, irritating, gets everywhere. Alrighty, let's hope they can finish this stuff. Yeah, see, I am now out of liquid here. Still backed up, but... It's getting a little bit... I feel like... I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like maybe this isn't going to be more. I, I wonder if it's an old thing that it used to create more than it uses. Because we are now running out of water here. Um, what can I do in the meantime? What I can do is... Deconstruct. Damn, if I deconstruct more of these. Uh, okay, I don't want to do that. What I'm going to do, actually... I need more dupes is the issue. Okay. Well, then let me do this. For now, I'm going to use the water in here. I'm going to do a liquid bridge so it goes the correct direction. And until I get more dupes, I'm going to let the, the wastewater build up. So in the meantime, what I do is I get rid of this liquid bridge. Wait, can I turn off a liquid bridge? I probably can't turn it off. So right now we'll use we'll use this water. Turn this back on. Of course, I can get a dupe right now. Uh, let's see if they any, got any good dupes. Hey, there's some barbecue. Increased air consumption rate. Increased bladder. Look at this. When I actually want to get them, they give me the worst dupes. Snores loudly. Loudly. Noodle arms. I guess small bladder is not terrible, but I already got a decorating person. You know, mouth breather I know is bad. But with my oxygen levels, I feel like this wouldn't hurt me too bad. I'm kind of thinking about getting the uh, getting this guy. How bad is mouth breather? It does create more water when you need more dupes. Huh? How, let's see, what does it say? Plus 100 grams a second. How much does a, is that a lot? I don't know if that's a lot. I feel like that's really dangerous though. So this means, you know what? Small bladder means they, actually this one's probably fine. You pee more, I actually want you to pee more. You know what, let's get you. Might get patched in the new update coming out soon, though I haven't read the new patch notes yet. Talking about what the, the water thing we're talking about. All right, so she's another decorating person, but I already have somebody with that, right? Mima, I've been working on that. Although she doesn't actually love decorating. You're the one who actually loves decorating. I guess we're going to have multiple decorators right now. And Mima will have to swap over to something else. Okay. All right, research. Get that level one. Might get past the new update. Uh, Escape from Tarkov seems to be down. What game to play? You wonder. So many choices. All right, we're gonna let this build up for a bit, and I'm gonna swap this back eventually. But I want this. I want this. The pee water to build up again. 
So can we priority nine on this stuff, please? Uh, not that guy, though. There. Put the old decorator in the brain shaker. Um, I don't have the brain shaker, but that's a good idea because I can get her to not. Yeah, I don't. I didn't use the um, skill scrubber enough. Let's do that. That's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. Because that would make it so that I can u use her skills where I want them to be. Brain shaker do it uh, unlearns their skills, I believe. Can never go wrong with some Left for Dead 2 to kill some time. Yeah, it resets our skill points. I don't know if it resets all of them or what. Okay, can I... Why are you guys not finishing this build? Okay, so... All right, so now we're pumping water for this thing. We know it doesn't take a lot of water, so this should be plenty of water for now. And actually, that'll be some clean water, germ-free water for a little bit. Soggy feet. Why do you have soggy feet? Is there a spill somewhere? Ah, random spill right there. I didn't see, apparently. I get it. Just make sure there's no spills anywhere. Okay. Remember to take them out before the pee themselves. Just remember to take them out before the pee. What? What are you talking about, Jake Callen? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, take them out of the skill scrubber. Yes. Okay. Speaking of, I got a new person. So, Bert, you're going to be on the night shift. And priorities for Bert. You're my number one decorator. She's my backup decorator. She's going to be doing, I think, cleaning is what she's going to want to do the most. And so that is Mima. All right, did we finish all the power lines? We did, so I can now disconnect this. Deconstruct those guys so that's on a different grid. So that's now a potential of 660. This one's now 1440. What? Why is that one so high? Wow, skill scrubber and disease clinic are really high, but that's fine. Because they're never going to be running at the same time, probably. All right. I also need to get my doctor up. So, Mima, get in there. How long does this... I feel like this took a long time before, too. Throw the most obnoxious mod you can on Skyrim and go at it. There you go. All right. Is she in there right now? How do I know... How do I know when it's done? Okay, she's not in there right now. Okay, I think... Why is it saying this is outside the hospital? Why is this not a hospital? Uh... Missing mess table. Ah. So I need the mess table in here. Okay. I think that's the only thing that's the issue is I don't have a mess table. I forgot about that. Hospital needs a mess table. Medical equipment, toilet, and mess table. All right. Which of these is going to be least useful? I know disease clinic, you, just, you need a lot of stuff for that. So I'm going to deconstruct that and just put a mess table in there. And I think that will make this a hospital. Put two quick mess tables in there. Okay, is that now a hospital? Bam! Hospital. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay. All right, I think we are ready to go check out the slime biome. So, um... Was it Tyler that you said you had built something to clean the air? Because I think if I'm going to want to do this, I'm going to want to have some sort of airlock and cleaning station as I go to build this. And I if think I would want some sort of 
I mean, I only got about an hour and a half left. This is a pretty complex build that you came up with. <laughs> All right, for now, what I think I'm going to do is... How do I want to do this? Maybe I start right below where this slime biome starts and just start clearing this area out. So if I do like an airlock up here, I do something like... Like right up to there. Germs... Something like that. And I make this like an airlock room here. Uh, miniatures, miniaturization broke it. But making it smaller broke it. So you're making one more change. And we should be good to go. Okay. All right. You'd look at the one with the natural gas vents. Oh, was there an area with a natural gas vent somewhere? Ah, yeah. Thank you for the follow. Uh, the Red Gobble, thank you for the follow. Man, I wanted to clear out that area. I think I'm going to have to do the gas, the natural gas vent next time. It does require plastic, your build. Okay. Well, I'm probably going to have to not use your build then. There's some carbon dioxide. I wonder if I piped in some chlorine over here. If I piped in some chlorine to, like, kill germs, maybe. Hand sanitizer station, a bunch of deodorizers will handle all small slime biomes. Don't really need much else. Slime isn't as powerful as it used to be. Okay. That sounds pretty um, pretty easy to set up. Does hand sanitation hand sanitizer station take takes bleach stone and metal ore? Bleach stone. Is that something I can make? How do you make bleach stone? Germ sensor is pretty non-optional. I think Saturnus made a build that runs on a clock, though. Pipe in all the CO2 you can. It kills slime lung. Well, I don't really have to pipe any in. There's carbon dioxide right here. If I... If I use this as my little room I pass through, I feel like I could... That'll kill slime lung there. So let me actually cancel this. I could use this as my little desanitation room right here. Bleach stone is in chlorine areas. Oh, I'm in a chlorine area right here. Let's see if I can find some igneous rock, granite. Uh, abyssalite all over the place. I do not know what it looks like. Is there some in here? Maybe phosphorite. Set up an air pump to make it a vacuum. I like the idea of just using a hand sanitizer station. If I can just find... Oh, well, there's something there. There's neutronium, so we got some sort of thing there. It's a whitish stone. Sand... Ah, there's an ice biome up there. Hmm. I do not see bleached stone anywhere. Another... Oh, anti-entropy thermonullifier. There's that thing again. I do not see any of that. There was some by the pepper plants in the purple zone. Ah! There. Okay. Okay, cool. Can I get this without releasing a bunch of gas into my thing here? Was there any over here that's closer and easier to get to? No. Alright, is there a quick way I can just get to this real fast? Carbon dioxide in here. Yeah, I can kind of get through here. Alright, um, I kind of want to... I kind of want not a lot of gas to go through here. Can I go down? Is there a ladder that I can... Is there a way to block off a ladder so I don't have carbon dioxide go down here? Because I can make this only one wide, but I don't know how you go down a ladder without making oxygen able to go through. Manual airlock door, but stuff will fall down whenever it opens. I guess what I could do is if I make it go over to the side... 
Let's do this. Um, it'll have a hard time going over. Uh, like if I do. Yeah, it'll go. I don't. I don't care if it goes down a little bit. I just don't want all this carbon dioxide to end up down here. I want most of my carbon dioxide to end up over here. This is my carbon dioxide dump, at least for now. I think if we just do this, this will be enough so that it's not any bigger than that width there. Okay. So we'll go with that. Um, of course, they do have to breathe to get down here to get to the bleach stone. So where's the closest one? Right here. There's a little bit of here. So the question will be, will they be able to hold their breath long enough to get down here to get it? Airlock doors and overpressurize the room. Overpressurize. Hmm. Not exactly sure how that works. Okay. Uh, do I have enough calories for... I, th I did want to make another farm before I get a tenth. I think I'm not going to get a tenth guy yet, even though I have lots of calories. Unless it's, unless it's a really good... We need to find, like, a really good statted duplicate for me to take a tenth right now. Just so I don't go overboard on food. Yeah, it's going to be a long... Long time to hold the breath to get this bleach stone if I go this way. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go get this. This is a long way to get this bleach stone. What if I just do it? You know what? What if I just do a wash basin instead of a hand sanitizer? That does a similar thing, right? If I do the wash basin, most germs. Uh, wash basin is only some germs. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... If I create a an, an, uh, quick little oxygen generator down here, just for a little bit of time, this is going to be a short-term solution that allows us to dig down here. Let's do that. And I can like move this down the further we go, just to give them a little oxygen. I could just pipe my air down. That's true. I could just pipe some oxygen down there. Algae terrarium. That's pretty slow, though, right? I feel like this is slightly faster. I'm just going to do this real quick. There's a couple ways I could do it. I could just pipe this oxygen. That might have been the fastest way to do it. And actually, what I do, I want to do is I don't want to do it here. Where's the freaking wire? There. If I do it right down here, that'll give us a little bit of a checkpoint. There. And no power usage. I don't care about the power usage. Coal. I got 42 tons of coal. We got basically free power from all this hydrogen we're making. This is actually using the power from the hydrogen generator. So this is, I am definitely not worried about power usage. Okay, let me do priority nine on this. Because that's what I need built so they can breathe. Remember to breathe, sir. Please remember to breathe. not using a lot of water there. Oh, now I can actually deconstruct these pipes. Liquid bridge, liquid pipe, deconstruct. Good. I didn't want to do that before because there was water and I didn't want to spill more water. All right, we got algae in there and we're good to 
be able to have a little bit of a pocket of breathing zone here. And that should allow us to get over here. Hey, all right, we can breathe in there. Beautiful. All right, all this just to get a little bleach stone so I can make a quick little, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, hand sanitizer station. Okay, so we're going to go across there. We're going to climb down here. We're going to go down to get this bleach stone. I'm going to purposefully, can I avoid opening up where this all this uh, chlorine is? I don't think I can. Closer bleach stone to the right of me. Let's see granite over here. Uh, well, now that I've already built over here, it's not that much closer. I guess it is a little closer here. Yeah, I've already done this, started this digging. We'll get this and it should be fine. This also gets me some coal and coal and copper, so I'm just gonna go with this. We'll get this stuff and it'll be fine. Keep an eye out for critter eggs. Uh, shine nymph egg. I'm looking for drecklet, uh, the shiny drecklet eggs or whatever they're called. F4 consumable ore. Ah, okay, so it's the blue-colored one. All right. Cool. Uh, why did they build that? Oh, because of that power line. Okay. All right, if there is an insanely good skilled one here. Oh, wait, there's those Pakus. Someone was re uh, recommending. So if I put... Actually, if I, like, put a hole in here, when you get the Pacos, they start jumping around. If they fall into this water, is there anything bad about them? Is there anything wrong with letting them fall in this water? Do they need to have polluted water? Because I know these guys live in the polluted water. They can live, so they can live in this water here, right? Clean water is fine. Okay, so if I quickly deconstruct this tile, um, crap, it did, is my, has Mima still done her thing yet? Mima still hasn't done it, has she? Nope, she's still got her art stuff. Um, can I deconstruct underneath the printable? They may hop over to the ladder. I don't know if I can just deconstruct right below there. You think they'll fall down to it naturally? Let me deconstruct these tiles real quick. See if things still work. They might just fall down right here. So with this, you think they'll naturally get there? They end up in here. Oh, okay. Let's let's cancel the deconstruct. If anything, we can always do that again. But all right, let's do it. Let's get some Pakus. All right, they're immediately going the right direction, actually. Are they going to purposefully go towards the water? Do they know that the water's down there? I see my home. Hey, all right, we got Pakus. Do they eat the algae? They're eating my algae, aren't they? They are overcrowded and glum, though, sadly. Uh, the fish can live in any water. Gulps are cleaning polluted water at a... Th oh, so they could clean polluted water, huh? Okay. So, can I... How would I... How would I eat them? Do I have to attack them? Or is there like a thing where I can choose barbecue from meat or something? 
I probably have to kill one, right? Now you have to feed them since they're in clean water. They naturally die and you just eat them? Okay. What do they eat? Oh, they eat algae. Okay. Let it, Just let them die. Okay. <laughs> let them die. Just let them die. Okay, so I want to do this, this, this. This is going to release the chlorine, but I can get to the bleach stone, and that's really all I care about right now. I want this bleach stone. I don't want to be able to walk down there. Okay, there we go. So that'll give us the bleach stone. Alrighty, so I want to make a... There's carbon dioxide in here. This is where I kind of want to airlock this area off. So to do that, I do like a uh, thing here. I do a little bit of a ladder here. And then a manual airlock there. And then we'll have a bit of a carbon dioxide room to hopefully clean stuff out. And we'll do a hand sanitizer station in here. What else did we need? We needed um, a deodorizer. You don't have to feed them. Just let them die. That's right. Who needs to feed my pets? <laughs> Again, PETA, please, 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 please nobody call PETA. As long as they're wild, they should be able to replace themselves once they're at least, uh, there are less of them. Cool. There's are eight. There are eight, so they'll die. I wonder... So when they die, they become meat. So if I just... If I do barbecue forever, when meat appears, they will grab it, right? I can actually make some fried mushrooms now, too. Let those build up a bit, though. Slime lung propagates in CO2. Only pure O2 kills slime lung. Oh, well, somebody said that CO2 kills them. This is the problem with Twitch chat. I keep getting multiple people saying different things. They become fish fillet. Okay. Okay. Um, am I going to be able to breathe? I will be able to breathe in polluted oxygen. So what I want to do is I want to get all this polluted water together. Um, can I build the hand sanitizer? I can. Beautiful. So let's do this. Get a hand sanitizer station. And hopefully with a couple deodorizers and a hand sanitizer station, we'll be clean to come back into our base this way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build under... I'm going to dig underneath where all the polluted water is. So I can make like a, a tunnel so that it can pour into there. Because I want it all to get together in there. Everybody. My laundry people. Everybody get together. However that song goes. Medicine. Hand sanitizer. There. And then I'm going to get a second deodorizer here. And then just a couple more there, just in case. Never be too careful. Plenty of hand sanitizers. I'm keep an eye on my water here. Because I am using this water now. I want this water to build up again. I also want this water to come connect with this water. All right, this chlorine hopefully will not make its way up. Hopefully there's enough places to catch it. There's a little chlorine there. Do a second airlock here just to hopefully help that from getting through. Okay. Got bleach stone there. Hey, we got another Drecklet. So Drecklet, you should be in here. Why are you glum? Stunted scales. You should get wrangled. Hey, we have a we got ourselves a sage hatchling. I need to make this critter feeder allow stuff for sage hatchlings. So they eat dirt and um How about dirt? You eat dirt? We'll just go with dirt. 
You can feed them, they'll become tamed. Their reproduction rate will increase more fish, but keep in mind they're extremely hungry. You can feed one or two fish to increase your fish population in a different fish tank, but you do not have to feed them. I'm gonna not feed them right now because it's something I just don't want to deal with. Maybe eventually I will. If they're wild and just kind of become at equilibrium in here, I'll be happy with that because what I don't want to have happen is me to run out of water and they just can't live anymore because uh, water is always something that I really want to be careful about not running out of because that's one of the big problems I usually have. Has Mima still... She has not used that thing yet to redo her skills. She does not want to get brainwashed. What is wrong with you not wanting to get brainwashed? Here's a bit construction. Um, oh, I gave you art fundamentals too. I don't really want you to have that. Bert's going to be my artist. Bert is an artiste. Alright, do I have room for one more? Uh, let's make the bed for one more um, duplicate if I end up getting one. Let's do two here. Okay, where are you going? Probably to pick up bleach stone or something, huh? Yeah. Oh god, please don't suffocate. Uh, what is that? She just got a skill up or something? Oh no, research. <laughs> it's always. What is that sound? I always forget that sound. All right, we'll just work our way down from up here. This doesn't take the next level stuff. Good. I'm right, just waiting for this stuff to this hand sanitizer to be built, and then we will start digging down here. There we go. All right. So I want to empty out the water before I just start cleaning out everything. So. There we go. So I'm going to dig down here. Again, purposefully avoiding the liquid so I can have it all drain out is the plan. Okay, that is gold amalgam. Uh, it'd probably be best if I avoid the chlorine for now as well. Okay, cancel that. Let me go the opposite direction. I want to empty it out here. So if I do like this. Um, okay. What if I do a ladder here? Ladder like that. And we dig this out. And it can flow and fall out that way. Uh, I need to not do this one then so it can flow out that way. Okay, will they be able to jump across there? I might have to build a... Do a tile here, and then cancel that. All right, that'll do it right there. Okay. All right. Once I get down here, actually, I want to put. I want to put a um, storage thing to put all the slime. Is what I want to do. Oh, I didn't do this. Uh, direction left. There we go. Oh, all right. We got some more uh, mushrooms. He's going to plant them, I think. And then I can cancel that. Just do it that way. Okay. I believe that'll flow down that way. All right. And once I do all this, I'll be able to expand all my farms and stuff, which is the main thing I want to do. Chlorine gas will help kill the slime lung faster if you introduce it to your tunnel. Oh, so I should let the chlorine 
I'm just worried that it's going to go into my base. Um, how can I... How can I avoid letting it go into my base? Maybe you get extra airlocks over here? That's the thing I'm worried about. And, um... Because if I just have polluted oxygen, that I can clean with the, uh... Deodorizers. Um... Chlorine is heavier than O2. Okay, so it'll stay down. All right, all right, sure. I'll do this. I'll dig into that then. Why the hell is that an unreachable dig? What? Can they not go across this? Something blocking them now? They must not be able to reach this ladder for whatever reason. Okay. Jean. Oh, okay. So she lost... No, that's not the one. It's Mima who still hasn't gotten brainwashed here. Okay. Who is my main critter rancher? It's Frankie. Jean is secondary, so she can do her carrying. And Stinky over here, exosuit wearing. There we go. All right, good. Now they can reach all that stuff. Good. All right, so what I'll probably do is I'll dig around over here and put a um, a storage thing here that will be where we tell it to put all the slime. So how are we going to release this? We'll probably release this here first and then release it here. Um, how am I going to... Ugh, it's going to be a lot of polluted water. It's not... I might have to go down a little bit more to make this work. All right, any incredible duplicates here? Can't do cooking. Flatulent, noodle arms, and narcoleptic. Wow. Good luck finding a home, Liam. Can't do doctoring, but you are a night owl. Yes. I think I want this. Although agriculture is very good as well. Harvesting speed. Wow, that's actually very good. So do I want a better farmer or do I want somebody who works better at nighttime? What are the bonuses for Night Owl? Three bonus attributes. Three bonus to all attributes at night. Bless Liam. Bless you, sir. Good luck in your life. Harold for the win. Yeah, I think the farming is going to be too good. Too useful. Let's do that. Especially since I'm, I'm planning on doing more farming stuff. So, skills. Harold, you love your farming. Put on your farming hat. And schedule. It's currently on the day. That will work. And you are 100% all farming all the time. You might help with ranching, but that's the main thing. Okay, research. Go. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, you actually see the germs dying as they hit the thing. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Alrighty, so our plan is to dump all this water down into here. Uh, ladder there. Ladder doesn't stop liquid flow, right? Pretty sure it doesn't. Hey, we're getting more of these dust caps growing. Great. And I'm going to actually do um, fried mushrooms forever as well. So as we make the mushrooms, as we get the mushrooms, we can cook them. That'll be very useful. All right. Stinky's got the slime lung. That's why I was worried about doing all this. Slime lung is not terrible, though. It goes away, and as long as we're sanitizing ourselves as we go out. 
I think we'll be okay. We're deodorizing the germs. Uh, there's a little bit of germs getting through here. Let me do some extra, extra deodorizers. Just line them up. All the deodorizers. I'm really worried about these germs. Is this... Is this going to be a f sufficient to keep this from cutting into my base and going crazy? Looks like it's okay, but I just don't I don't want to take chances here. Do want don't want disease to run rampant with how well our build's been going so far. Well, we have lots of uh Dreco eggs there. Be fine, slime long used to end bases. They have toned it down a lot. Okay. Alrighty, so. Um, I want to jump. Uh, no. I want to go across here. Do a ladder down to here. Build that there, and then I'm going to build a storage thing. Right there, and that's where we're gonna say slime goes. I think I want it to be one higher thing than this. So this is at six. So I'll put this at seven and only do slime in this. And they can breathe in all this, right? Yeah, even though it's polluted oxygen, they can breathe it. So that's fine. Once I drain all this polluted water into here, then I can just start mass mining all this stuff out and give myself space for base expansion, which is what I really want to do. Beautiful. You can jump over there. Yeah, I know, Stinky. <laughs> it's fitting that the one who gets slime lung, his name is Stinky. Stinky, you should live in this part of the world. You should just live here. I guess my main worry, though, is I try to do all this is we're going to end up with a lot of chlorine in our base. So how, how am I going to deal with, I have all this oxygen generation. How do I expand in this, expand this part of my base without it ruining my lovely clean air I have going? Like I want to dig all this out, but how do I do that? What was that sound? No, that's fine. Now, zombie spores, once you get to them, are almost practically impossible to get rid of. If you see a spore, spore kid, just section it off and leave it alone. Okay. I don't think I've seen zombie spores before. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Because I am opening up a lot of area with, like, a bunch of chlorine and stuff. And I did a little better preparing for that on this side, but... Just kind of worried about that over here. You finish your build, two complete cycles and no hiccups, just needs 50 grams of plastic. And I don't think I have that, do I? Well, maybe... What is what is plastic under? It's under... Industrial ingredient? No, I probably haven't seen it yet, so I don't even have it on my list. Set up a filter on your air circulation system above your CO2 pit. Pump it into a room that's sealed. Set up a filter on your air circulation system above your CO2 pit. Pump it into a room that's sealed. I don't quite understand that sentence. My CO2 pit is here. Are you saying I make a sealed room here that I pump unwanted stuff into? So like just a small room that's I pump air into that is uh, I think I would need a high I think I would need the high uh, what you call it high pressure gas vent for that right? We post pics in a moment. Okay, Tyler. Alrighty, so this is going to be only slime. 
and six. Okay. So. Um, can I do sweeping for only the slime? Stored in gas containers as well. That might be what I want to do because I might want to use that chlorine at one point, at some point. So I might want to do that actually. All right, what's my best way to do this? Um, actually, cancel that. Let's drain this one out first. How do I make it go where I want it to go? I want to do it like this. Here, here, here. And then it should flow down this way, hopefully. How many people has ran suffocated so far today? So far, zero. Almost one. I didn't suffocate them. They almost drowned themselves because they were stupid. But I blame their stupidity all the time. All right, so you're going to put all that slime in there. That's good. <laughs> While you try to sanitize it. Good luck sanitizing all this stuff. Two people with the slime lung. Okay, so that should flow down there. So if I release it from here, it should go down and hopefully end up going down there. That's the plan. And then we'll, like, mop it up. So let's do that. Dig that out. Oh, wait. Crap. Ladder. Priority. Nine. Priority. I say haven't suffocated any right as I leave this person in here. Yellow alert. Get this ladder. She She's sleeping. Why the hell is she sleeping in here? Oh my god, she's gonna die. Alright, there is oxygen there. Okay, lady, wake up. Jesus. I almost just suffocated somebody there. I almost did it. Oh my god. Double thick wall keeps that slime lung from leaking out of the wall. Okay, that thing's gonna be completely underwater. All right, I might need to dig this out for more popped eardrums. I guess they're really high pressure or something. All right, you only have slime lung, right? Right, it's only slime lung, hopefully. See all those germs, I see them. I see them. Why are they getting more germs? Jesus. Why are the germs going? I have all these sanitizers. Need a lot more deodorizers? I have... Okay, I guess maybe I need them all along here? I have so many. Germaphobe's worst nightmare, that view? Yeah, right. Um, damn it. Where the polluted O2 is. So you're talking about this? I think you're talking about this one. Okay, let's, let's create more here, I guess. Just all the way down. I'm going to dump the water there. Yeah, come on. Get these get these deodorizers. Okay, hopefully the deodorizer is going to do its thing. Keep it from getting down into the base. All the deodorizers. Get all of them. Okay, I think, I feel like it's doing a decent job there. All right, yeah, I'm going to need to make more room in this hole. Giggity. Uh, the ones in your base won't, propag won't propagate any longer in clean O2 and will die eventually. Okay. 
So because I have clean O2 in here, I shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Hold up. Hold up. Why is this thing not running? Sending a red signal. Hold on a second. Crap. Is this water bypass? Why are the electrolyzers not working? Max gas pressure. Okay, why did this stop working? I feel like me adding this extra pipe was a bad idea. Something, something is not working right here. The electrolyzers are not working. And it says it's at max gas pressure. Why? Why is it like this? I need to take more air out of the room. It's probably because the hydrogen's backed up, huh? If the hydrogen's backed up, that's probably an issue. Yeah, okay. Um, do I do just an extra hydrogen tank right now? That's not a permanent solution. So I actually need... I actually need to just pump the hydrogen out somewhere. How can I just... What can I do with excess hydrogen? A buffer tank for the hydrogen? I have one, That's and it's full. Um... Need more energy to consumption? Maybe so, because this thing's not working, yeah. What if I do an extra hydrogen tank in here for now? Uh, let's see if I can fit one. Uh, hey, Arzoza, thank you so much for the four months, my friend. Appreciate your continued randomness. Okay, I can't do that. Okay, I'm just going to, for now, put a hydrogen tank in here. Because this needs to, I need this to be fixed now. So I want this to go in and then out. And I want this to be priority nine. So what can I do with extra hydrogen? So I guess I need to use up this power is what I need. Or have my base run primarily without the hydrogen to burn more off so I don't run into this again. That's a good idea. So... How, how do I prioritize them using this power over this power? How do I do that? Yeah, I do want my coal generator to be secondary power. That's a very good, very good thing. Uh, what do I got here? I'm going to get shine nymphs. Let's just do that. I don't want more duplicates right now. Using the smart battery values. Okay. I need to connect the grid somehow. So that it uses this one first and that one second. So that would mean I'd want this to go through. Make the smart battery connected to the hydrogen a higher value than the coal. So if this one is 90, 60, if I do this one at 60, 30, and then have this power go through here first. Would that work? 90, 40. Okay, so the low threshold to be lower. Okay. God damn it, just 40, 90. Um, and so how do I, what would I do wire-wise then? Would I then have this wire go down here? How do I how do I do the wiring for that then? Do I no longer have this connected to this thing and have this all on one line? Because currently they're different they're on different grids purposefully. So do I need to have them all on one grid? I can disconnect the manual generators? Yeah, I can it's true. Deconstruct. Uh, actually, I don't want to do that. Cancel that one. 
I can keep the batteries is fine for now. So if I like have this line go down to here. Once you switch to coal, it's just a waste of dupe labor time. Yeah, they shouldn't be doing it, but yeah, I'll, I disconnected it. So if I do this, that is one wire with a lot of potential load, but they'll share. I know it's a potential overload. It's We're protected from it by a power transformer, but I think the coal generator and the hydrogen generator have to be on the same grid if I want them to, one, to be prioritized over the other. Use the transformers to create one circuit close to source and use transformers to make circuits and base what you need. Okay. Okay. So I have, this is on its own thing with the transformer. This is on its own thing with a transformer. Do I do another transformer room? Have maybe those go to a new transformer. Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay. So I think if I do... Um, combine the coal and hydrogen circuit. Before the power transformers, is that what you're telling me? That I did a second transformer on one of those circuits, you could route off another 1k of power. Combine coal and hydrogen circuit, and right after, add a transformer. Okay. Oh, my brain is fried. I've been streaming for five hours. Okay. Um... Uh. Transformers to find the Decepticons. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, Jesus, my brain. Okay. Power stuff always th confuses the hell out of me. I think I need to not have this transformer in the room. I think I need to have both these things going to a transformer in a separate room. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build an extra transformer here. I'm going to do two so I can have two different circuits, basically. Let me let them build this first, stuff first. Let me let them build this gas reservoir so that we fix the issue of the oxygen first. It's my main issue right now. Okay, I just drop something on the ground and then turned around. What the hell's wrong with you, stinky? Stinky? You're having issues, aren't you? He's stressed. Mima is stressed. Is she doing her thing yet? Did Mima? She still has not gotten rid of. All right, well, tidying there. Oh, my stress levels have gone through the roof. Where did all my bonuses go? I don't know where all my bonuses went. What happened to the O2? Hydrogen backup. It's uh, it's an issue with my hydrogen and my power. I'm trying to fix it right now. Okay, that is high, that is nine. Working on it right now. Okay, so that. Jesus, what the hell? God damn it. That is that is not what you should be doing. Um, so I think I need a. I need it to always. Okay. This is now going in a loop. Jesus Christ. Okay. There. It's gonna release some hydrogen. I was trying to avoid releasing hydrogen, but apparently, I'm just gonna release some hydrogen. What what the hell ever. Okay, there it's flown into there. Now, what I want to do now is get rid of this power transformer. Deconstruct. I probably need to use heavy watt wire for this. Um, let's 
So I want deconstruct those lo those wires. Um, I'm actually going to deconstruct the power transformer here too. So I'm going to do this. Heavy watt wire is going to go from... Now here's a question. Um, does it matter if it comes from the generator or the battery as long as it's connected? I don't think it matters. I think I can just do this. This. And I think that'll be okay. And it'll be a wire to there. And then I have heavy watt wire going to this. Okay. As per usual, I messed up my power situation. As per usual. Oh, come on. I know, I know, I know. You gotta breathe. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is have you out wire to there, and then this guy. I can still keep my thing separate here, but I can get rid of this power transformer and have this power go to these transformers is the plan here. Okay, so I get that completed. Okay, so this, this bottom grid now has power. Okay. So, now what I want to do is um, deconstruct that, do power uh, 900 watts. I don't think I need the heavy watt wire there. Power transformer, deconstruct. Actually, I think I do want to do heavy watt wire. So we're going to heavy watt wire here because we don't want to we don't want to mix wires. That is a rule I learned today from one of the videos I watched. So let's not mix wires there. And then heavy watt wire. Um, there. 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 Okay, so these heavy watt wires will be supplying power to these guys. And it should be using hydrogen energy before the hydrogen generator before it's using the coal generator. Is this thing running? This thing's running again. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. We're slowly getting our auction back. Well, that is a lot of carbon dioxide. Oh, my God. I think I might need a carbon skimmer. Holy crap. Okay, hopefully the... Hopefully this, what we're doing, will fix that. Potential load. Potential load. A little spaghetti, but should work now? Yeah. I, I, I will hopefully eventually be able to clean this up. For now, I just need to get this fixed so that my O2 is working. But yes, you're definitely right. It's a little, it's a little spaghetti. And what I want to see once all these wires are done is this generator working and this one not working. Why is this generator idle? We're using power for stuff, right? Because it needs to complete. Um, I need this wire to be completed. Complete this wire, please. This is the most important wire right here. So this thing is using power and that will turn on. Good. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm here to sleep. <laughs> What's up, Quack? That's Macchio. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you. I hope you're, hope you're having a good one. All right, so now this should be running all the time. This should only run when our power needs are more than the hydrogen generator can cover, hopefully, is the idea. Power. I do want this there. So that, that things can can work. Some carbon scrubbers will get you more polluted water. 
You're marginally better than I was last time I visited. When was the last time you played Into the Breach? Wow. Two years ago? <laughs> I don't remember. It's been forever. I think what I might want to do is Carbon Scrubbers on this level. Like, maybe one here and one here. And you say that creates polluted water? And I could, like, dump that out into here. How are things looking over here? Well, it looks like I'm not getting super cleaned up over here like I was hoping. But, um... Can do is this. I did empty out that area, mostly. Um... Thank you for the follow. Uh... Comrade de Corgi. What a name. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Okay, what is it called? A, um... Carbon skimmer. Filters carbon dioxide from the air. It uses water, though. That's another thing I'd have to use water for. If... I feel like as we pump the oxygen... Well... I have to use clean water for that, right? Hmm. Man, I can't believe just that little thing there totally screwed up our entire... One little thing, man. One little thing, and it just ruins it ruins everything. Pump the CO2 into storage. Now, that's not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea. So if I do, like... I want the CO2 to be down here. So if I had, like, an air pump... So how would I do that? I would air pump and then only allow CO2 to go into a, uh, a vent or a whatever, a, a tank. All right, is this backing up again? It's backing up again. So these things are not running. Are we using power? Uh, carbon skimmer uses one kilogram a second of water and creates one kilogram a second of polluted water. So it doesn't gain water as a process. So it doesn't gain. Plants consume CO2. Some of them do. I don't know if I have any plants. Uh, if I had if I had some oxa whatever seeds, that would be very useful. What are those what are those oxygen oxiferns? Glob lots of cheeses together. Is the new mass of the cheese a cheese them? Wow. Wow, amazing. Uh, I have not seen any oxiferns yet, I don't think. Those would be very useful right about now. So an air pump, filter one, CO2, filter two, chlorine. Okay. Yeah, I know, I could descend further. The problem is I have water. I kind of, I wonder, you know what? What if I had this be like a storage room? These things don't generate heat, right? Unless the gas, I guess, it's holding is hot. If I stored some... Had a room of just, like, some gas reservoirs in here and pumped the excess gas in here, that might be useful. Um... Dig down, use a couple algae trimes so you get to manageable levels. No, I kind of want to actually store the CO2 because I might want to use it at some point. So I like that idea. So for now, I'm going to do this. I have airflow tiles, so what's the point of making this a room? No real point. So if I do, where would I want to do this? I know I have chlorine randomly in places over here, I think. Not sure where the chlorine has ended up. Is that okay? So it's above the carbon dioxide. So if I put the pump like right here, you'll make a lot more than you want once you get to petroleum generators. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm going to want to have a place over here with our bill carbon dioxide. I'm going to want to dig down. A lot of these things are in the future. I don't want to dig down too far because this is actually using the chlorine or the carbon dioxide for the dust cap. So I want to pump from above there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a. Gas pump here, right in the middle of all this flow here. 
I'm going to go... Um... How am I going to do this? Because I, uh, I'm going to have some ventilation pipe overlap here if I'm not uh, careful. Okay, what if I go down one more, actually? Let's go ventilation, gas pump, right there, gas filter. I'm not going to, I'm going to have to do something like uh, this so I can do this. You need six terrariums per dupe just to break even, and that's just for what they exhale. Okay. I'm not using terrariums. <laughs> Those are really inefficient from what I've heard. Okay, so we're on a gas filter, and then another gas filter. And we're going to do this here, this here, and then a uh, vent out. I'm gonna need another vent out here and just a gas vent. Uh, uh, if you place lights next to them, you gain 10% for terrariums. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna need power for this. For all of these. There's a very high consuming amount of ox er, power on that. Ugh. Why do I have so much more power on this stuff here? I guess the... You know what? I'm not going to worry about that right now. And this filter, I need to build it before I can tell it what it's going to do. But I'm going to have the output of this one. Go there. That's not in. That is out. Damn it. I like the idea of storing gases that I will probably eventually want to use somewhere. So let me do that. Okay. Did the creation I tested work? Yep. This is it right here. This is it right here. And it's been working great until just recently when things got a little dicey and we're trying to fix that dicey problem right now. With terrariums, you remove CO2 and gain O2. With diffuser, just gain O2. Plus with terrariums, you can clean water from germs. The problem is that terrariums use water. And I don't like things that use water. Like my previous run, I ran out of water. And I am trying to do as little as I can. Um to use water so you get the water back from terrariums no you don't it uses the water like al algae terrarium consumes algae produce oxygen takes 300 grams a second of water how do you get that water back it creates less polluted water than you get you use 300 grams a second for water, and you get back 290. You are using water. They use barely any water. Yeah, I don't I don't want to use it. Thanks for that suggestion. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I am not using terrariums. I used them one run, and I felt like I was running out of algae and water like the entire run. Water is rarer than air. Yeah. And so is algae. I I'm I don't even like you. I'm trying to even be um, very spare on my oxygen diffuser usage just because I'm trying to not use algae as too much. Oh, God, you're going to get caught. Well, we have a ladder here, so I think... Will you be able to get out from this ladder? I don't actually know. Let's just make sure. Somebody's going to freaking drown. Hey, what's up, Nietzsche? Damn it, you're right. I did do the wrong thing with the, uh... God damn it. Deconstruct. Uh, those. And... Ventilation. There. Not that. Okay. 
The water loss is 0.67 a second a terrarium, which is absolutely trace. It's irrelevant anyway. They're not good for removing CO2 at all. You can't. Yeah, there's so many different, you know, ideas of what are what are good things to use, what are efficient, what are not. And I do not like terrariums. I've used them on my first my first run and did not like did not like them. They didn't feel efficient. I don't know why Mima is not using the brain scrubber thing. I just don't know why she's not doing it. All right, Frankie. I wanted you to work towards doctoring. We're getting a little close on our morale right now. I'm going to hold off on anything else for you. This These O2 level things kind of screwed us up here. So if there's no gas output, it will still store stuff, right? I think it will. I think you need a valve to fill the storage. Well, we're not pumping anything yet, so that's the main issue, but... Let me wait till this is all done building. Oh, that's your build for the glorious day when we have a little plastic. Okay. Wow. All right. I'm going to have to look at that later. Oh, my God. All right. Said somebody was... I knew they were going to do this. Stupid crap. Okay. Well, they're able to jump up to that at least. Okay, priority nine. This first before you build. Try to build that stuff. Okay, deactivate, disable. Don't be pumping stuff yet. Try to make the notes as clear as possible. Hence the delay. But obviously, if you need to clarify, you'll try. Okay. I don't think that bottom power cord is connected in your base. It could be wrong though. Which bottom power cord? This power is all connected. This is all connected. I'm not sure what you're talking about. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Hmm. All right, I got 30 more minutes to try to fix this issue. So my main issue was that I, uh, the ox hydrogen is is backing up again too. So these guys aren't running. I feel like I'm not using enough power, honestly. I feel like I just need to make something that uses a bunch of power. Maybe I should make that um, stereo system just to use up power. Put an O2 sensor on the air pump. All right, let me finish this build. Um... What would the O2 sensor do? So, like, when it does detect O2, it would turn off? Because that's what I want, right? Is that under ventilation? What is what is that? Element sensor? It sends a green signal when the selected gas is detected. Okay. Let's do that. So, I want it to be, if it detects O2 here, it turns off. Let's do that. I like that idea. That's the wrong building. So it's not gas pipe element sensor. The one that detects element in a pipe. Gas element sensor. Is it this one? Sends a when the second gas is detected on this sensor's tile. Oh, okay. Okay, so I want gas element sensor here. And so I turn that to when it senses oxygen, that it will turn off or whatever. I right, want you give me bristle berries because I don't want any more duplicates right now. I need to do some research so we use up our power. So I need to use power. This is kind of funny. For once, I'm actually not using enough power. That's like the first time I've had that problem. Okay. So I guess I can enable this. It's fine. Just won't do anything until I set the filters and everything. All right. Our auction levels are getting fixed. I do need to keep an eye on this again, not to overload. 
Not to over back up our pipe. You need to knock it if you're automating to switch on an elephant. Element if not present. I'll put a green signal if the input is receiving a red signal. So if this is, if it detects oxygen, I want it to turn it off. Okay. Oh man, this is getting even more and more complex to do stuff like this. Um, okay. Uh, how do I, I don't know how to, play, I don't know how to place this. I never use these stupid little gates except one other time. Where, which part needs to be attached to which freaking part, man? Okay, so I can rotate it. Okay, so I can do like this. So I think I need, I need to deconstruct automation. I need to, uh, uh, maybe I don't need to deconstruct. Other way, great, great. It was like that. Automation is the same. Connect the sensor to the not gate input, then the not gate output to the pump. The hell's the out? Which is in and which is out? Damn it. Uh, I think the in is the bottom one on here. So I think I want to do... No, those are the same. God damn it. There's a key at the top right. Okay. Jesus. Input port is output in white. So... I do want it that way. Whoever said to turn around, I don't think you know how I wanted to set this up. So I needed to go like this, then like this, but then I need to deconstruct those two, I think. Okay, I believe that's right. I think that's right. And then I need to set this to oxygen. Oxygen. Town CBS ran suicides or studies for his upcoming electronic engineer's thesis. Yes, that's right. All right, so the first one I want carbon dioxide to go out. Second one I want chlorine to go out. And hopefully we will get all these. Ran making the mistake of believing Twitch chat again. Apparently so. Sending a red signal. Carbon dioxide. Alright, so we are pump, pumping the carbon dioxide out. Man, this thing's going to fill up really quickly, it looks like. Problem is... I don't know if there's if it's going to... That's be enough state, space to get all the carbon dioxide out. My defense is a small screen. It's fine, J. Cal. I don't blame you. <laughs> Even though it sounded like I blame you. I don't really blame you. You're trying to help be helpful. All right. So anything that's not carbon dioxide will go through here. Anything that's not chlorine will go through here. All right. I do probably need to build out underneath here so there's more room for the carbon dioxide to go. Just check the automation that sensor isn't connected. Okay. That's what it's supposed to be. There to there. Oh. It's probably because I disconnected after because they were in the wrong configuration before. Alright, well almost full of carbon dioxide already. A 
Well, so what it looks like is going to happen is I'm going to have a tank full of carbon dioxide, and that's it. <laughs> so I need more space here. I need to dig out a chunk of space here. I need to make room. I need a bigger carbon dioxide sink. Used to go way down the rabbit hole of Minecraft with mod packs and automation. Except being transported between realms. Auto smell. Yeah, we did some of that on stream for a while. Okay, is this working yet? Okay, no, they haven't, they haven't placed that wire yet. Still one more wire. Come on. Come on. Quick question. Why not just make an Atmos sensor so you can just turn the pump on and off? Still keep O2 for your mushrooms? I don't know. I don't know why not. Modified Sierra. Because I'm jury rigging this together just to make it work right now. So now this thing is full so it can't pump anymore I think. Yeah. Uh, so what do I do with the CO2 now? Hey, what's up, Cool Angel? Man, I wish these things stored more. I'm backing up on all my gas pipes, it seems like. So I feel like I need to output this CO2 somewhere to avoid it completely backing up so I can so this does something I don't know how to do that don't know how to do that the reservoirs in this game are not effective at all how's third calling it's going much better actually it really is I'm just as usual some something I do turns into some problem hopefully my germs are doing okay we've killed a lot of the germs from what we were doing over here Just backup is killing us on our pipes right now. All right. All right. You got some room. You are electro whatever. Okay. We're going to do that. Electrical operation. Purposely didn't choose one because I need to uh, improve my morale for that. I'll put it to another tank. <laughs> Why not use another tank? Illumination. Oh, this shine bug is making it so these things can't grow. That's weird. Oh, crap. There's... Oh, wait, that's hydrogen. Oh, that'll let some hydrogen into my base. It's not great. All these... Dealing with all these excess gases as you get into the other biomes is kind of a pain. Those tanks disappoint how little gas they can hold in. Yeah. You can use a canister filler to bottle up all the gas. Uh, but it's infinite storage. Bottle up all the gas. Does require a dupe to mainly empty when it's full, but it's infinite storage. What is a canister filler? Automatically stores piped gases in the canisters for manual transport. How much can that hold? So I'll be like a canister full of gas. And then I can like... It's used for sodas. <laughs> what? Really? Okay. Yeah, we still have a lot of carbon dioxide. I really do want to make a carbon skimmer as well. Problem is it takes clean water. Um, okay, I want to stop using this water for this thing now. I want to go back to using this water since we've filled it up, and hopefully we'll be not running out of it again. So uh, my pipes. So what I want to do is I want to um, deconstruct that liquid pipe so that that stops, and then I want to put this liquid bridge back here. So that this one will be using, using that one. And I'm going to turn off. Uh, I'm not going to turn that off. Running out of water? Hey, what do you know? Big surprise. We're running out of water again. I'm not actually running out of water, but 
using this water for my electrolyzers is using water. I don't feel like I'm really running out of water. God damn it. Okay. All right, so back to using the pee water for it. Hopefully we have enough that we won't run out again. I mean, supposedly... I wonder how many dupes you need for you to create enough polluted water for this system. Maybe that's my issue, that I don't have enough dupes for that. I have 10 now. I had 7 or 8 when I started. Clearly we aren't breathing enough. We aren't peeing enough to breathe. That's right. That is... That is kind of what's happening right now. Okay. You, f you fancy doing the maths on that? Alrighty, so... Uh, I want to get this water mopped up so it's put over in here. Okay, so every time I check F1, I need to hit F7 too to check this. All right, yes, this is... We are not using our coal generator at all, which is what we want. We want to be using our hydrogen power so that we are not backing up in our hydrogen tank so we continue making oxygen. So hopefully, hopefully with hydrogen as our first source of power, that will keep us from having that issue again, I hope. A few slicksters would come in handy with all that CO2. I did have some slickster eggs. But they probably, I guess after a while, you run out or something. I have a bunch of Drecklet eggs, apparently. Okay. All right, I'm about out of time. I really wanted to get more of this dug out. I guess what I could do is... I could have the, I could at least do this so we get the rest of this water drained out. Because that was the main thing I wanted to do. We got most of that drained out already. Yeah, it's nice to see all that beautiful oxygen. It's going well when this is working. I just need to not back up in hydrogen. I have two full gas reservoirs full of hydrogen from this thing. Just print another 93 dupes. I'm sure that's going to be perfectly, perfectly uh, safe. Uh, to keep two electrolyzers running continuously, 102.5 dupes would need to use a lav, uh, a thing in cycle. Really? Is that many? That is so many dupes. Man, I didn't think the electrolyzers used up that much water. So I guess I do just need to be getting more dupes now. It actually does seem like I need more dupes. I have enough calories. Problem is, if there's kind of a catch-22 there, right? Because they'll be creating more CO2 if you do that. All right, let me get more storage bins here. I'm producing enough O2 for 16 dupes there. Okay, so uh, this is enough for 16 dupes. Okay, well, let's... I'm going to start, unless I get some other really good thing that it's offering me. CO2 needs to be the thing I get. Sounds like, oh, speak of the devil. All right, anybody really good here? Irritable bowel, allergies, and flatulent. Okay, these two are terrible. This one's really good, though. Medicine machinery, he just can't dig. I'm cool with that. Just can't dig. So the new person is... Ren, is that the new person? I need to skill you up first. So you love, I don't have a doctor yet. I was going to have somebody else be the doctor. Let's have you be doctoring. And priority doctoring. You also like operating. Can the water sieve keep up with two carbon skimmers? That's a good question. Maybe I can use carbon skinner, skimmer in uh conjunction with that at some point uh schedule he's on day let's put you on 
Actually, I need one on night and one on afternoon, I think, to be even. Well, 443. Okay, that's good for now. So schedule and priorities. I think I got everything there. Each sieve can keep up with five skimmers. So I could do I could do a I could do a carbon skimmer. Although it looks like we've kind of caught up with it. This little thing didn't seem to do much for us because it just filled up this. I'm gonna have to do something with this uh, carbon dioxide. Maybe I can pump that to some animal thing for if we get an animal that likes carbon dioxide. I think there is some animal that likes carbon dioxide. So at some point, maybe we do that. All right, did we let that? Okay, so that's draining out. Good. We have a nice big thing full of polluted water for fiber reed. So I'm gonna have to try to get that set up next time. Slime creature that makes crude oil. Yes. Okay. So if I get offered those, I might want to get those then. And I think I was offered those earlier. Had some eggs for them. Uh oh. Why is it too hot here? This thing is apparently creating a decent amount of heat. Really? Too hot for mealwood? wrong thing now this insulation thing is not insulating well enough apparently what's the heat coming from over here is it coming from the grill maybe time to find an ice zone I have a couple ice zones I think it might be because the O2's temperature is coming out at 85 degrees which is right on the edge of what these like to grow at what I might be able to do is swap over this to, what does Thimble Reed Seed take? Maybe uh, Thimble Reed can take higher heat and I can change this over to Thimble Reed. Could be coming from the storage? Really? Oh, well, something was 90 degrees. Oh wait, that's them. He's leaking through the manual airlocks. Okay. Well, I guess I go back to um, deconstructing that. So I uh, can have it fully insulated. I did that earlier, and then I needed to get back in there. So... Uh, what's the heat like in here? It's pretty hot in here. So I think I do the same thing in here. I didn't even have to go in here earlier. I just had to change the Atmos sensors. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Deconstruct. Whoops. Okay, that is just the airlock. Okay. Since I don't have to ever have to go in here. Hopefully they, cause this can lock in this heat better. Heat was the only issue. Um, Francis... YouTuber talked about with this and why he recommended doing some things out of gold amalgam. Okay. All right. Hopefully that will dissipate some. Um, just about out of time. Maybe I can dig out a little bit of this area now that I've done this. Start digging out all this stuff. So... This is what I wanted to do, is dig out all this air. Oh, I have one other thing to dunk out. Okay, let me do... Do that. Do a ladder to... Here. Oh, what is that? Gulp fry egg. Oh, that's gulp fry egg. I don't know what a gulp fry is. That's only a nutshell. Just one more thing. I know, right? Just one more thing. Still haven't got any of the uh, slick drecklets yet, have I? No. That's a fish. Eh, that's a type of fish, huh? Cooked fish. There it is. Forever. So anytime a fish dies, hopefully we can cook it. Okay. All right, 
So there's a little bit of backup there, but we should be using should be using the hydrogen power a decent amount. Battery. I almost feel like I want to use something else to uh, use up power. Um, okay, Mima priorities. What is the thing that will make her go into the thing? <laughs> well, it seems like I don't know which is life support for this thing. How do I get her to go use a skill, skill scrubber? I don't know how to get her to use that. Yeah, maybe if I do nine here. Maybe if I just put nine. I'm not going to do yellow alert yet. If this gets her to go in there, that'll that'll be good enough. just want to keep an eye on her as I do it. Yeah, she's going around like delivering and doing anything but go to the skill scrubber because that's her, right? Yeah. Plus increase operating for her. Increase operating for her. Is it operating that's that thing? Priority. Mima. So her main one is tidying. So for now I do... Where is operating? Try that. This is her. Okay. There she goes. Okay. So does it let you know when it ends? Because I know they can go crazy in there. Okay, I, just, I guess I have to watch this little bar thing here. Takes a full cycle. Okay, so she's going to be really stressed out when it's done though, right? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and watch this because I don't want her to. I don't. I. I think I left one in uh, a duplicate in one time, and they just stayed in it until they like. Not till they died, but until they're like peeing all over the place or something. Unreachable dig. Really? Right, research is done. That guy. Stretch out at full cycle being sugar in a dank cramped space? Nah, she'll be fine. <laughs> what you whining about? Stop your complaining. Alright, it's done. Cool. So now I can change her priorities back to fast normal and tidying is up. That's what she loves to do. Okay. So now did that reset all of her skills? Beautiful. So tidying, plumbing, and she now doesn't have the decorating, which is what I didn't want her to have. So um, the other thing I guess I can have for her is see how many people carrying and tinkering. Actually, operating might be something I want her to have. One operator. I'll have her I'll put operating on her. Harold, you're a farmer. Max. We're getting a little maxed out. I need a. I need more rooms. I need like a stress-free room and add more art and stuff. But I want to get a thimble reed stuff. All right, this stuff's growing again. I think. I think our closing up this helped with the heat issue. It's looking better. Okay. This is what I'm gonna have to keep an eye on right here. This hydrogen running out. Um. Uh, I just need more space now. I need more space for building the stuff I want to build. Clean all this up. There. Because I want to build um, a room for them to dance and relax in. Um, I'm going to need more room for more duplicates because I'm out of beds now. The way I had this set up really inefficiently. So I need another, I'll need another bedroom. Might have to like redo this build actually. Just not have statues and do uh, only paintings once I have reed fiber reeds available. Whoa! Ah. Okay. Let me cancel all this cleaning up now. 
All right, that is one big full tank of polluted water there. All right, now that that's good now. Okay, so that should be good now. We can clean up all that. Okay, and we've dunked most of that stuff out. Okay, so... Uh, that'll keep me breathing for a decent time. What's that? What we got here? The hydrogen using... I, I, I really just need... I need to use my power. It's such a strange thing, but I, I need to use my power. All right, let me figure out what I want to do here. So let me do... This... Yes, we're going to start digging out big chunks of area now. That's going to be our new goal. Building out chunks. Digging out chunks of the area. I don't know how I'm going to deal with all this gas. Maybe the uh, thing that Tyler said will let me, will, gave me, will be a way to do it. But like all these extra gases floating around, I'm not exactly sure how to deal with all that stuff because we dealt with this a little bit. And I have a full tank here. So, full tank of carbon dioxide that I'm not using. And this will let out some hydrogen. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to deal with all the different gases that can come into your base as you open up biomes when you try to expand. Okay, so I can do one, two, three, four here. So it'll be it'll be all about expansion next time, giving us more space. And building more rooms and that kind of thing. Yeah, because we have these random pockets of other gases floating around our base. There are a couple ways you recommend a YouTube video on mechanical gas filters. Okay. More stuff we'll have to watch. All right. Well, it is. It's just a little after five, so I do have to go. So I feel like this has been a better start. It got a little bit uh, dicey there with us backing up on our hydrogen levels. Hopefully, I won't have that issue again. I can keep an eye on that and figure out how to... Gas management needs to be what I work on next time. So, y'all y'all are amazing. Thank y'all so much for watching. Does anybody in the stream please to follow? I can never thank you enough for the bits, the follows, the subs, the uh, lurking in chat, all that wonderful stuff y'all do. We had we had, we had had a good good start to this, and I feel like we're more organized. I'm hoping I could stay organized without getting germs everywhere and all that other stuff. So, y'all are amazing. I'm going to... I'm going to not end with 60 second worth of ads. So uh, I'm going to just head out. So y'all have a great day. Peace out, my friends. Happy game. Y'all rock. See you with some FTL tomorrow. Later, my friends. Y'all have a great night.